Welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be doing lab number four. We're going to be installing uh, nested uh, hypervisors or nested uh, vSphere's ESXIs. And these will be installed in another host, which is an ESXI. So these will be nested. Uh, here's the nine labs that we're covering. We've already covered the first three. Today we're going to be covering install nested ESXI. So we've got our host. Uh, our host has got a 5.5. Today I'm going to be installing a 5.1. 5.1 is going to save us a little bit on RAM. Uh, the hardware requirements on this is probably at least 12 uh, gigabytes of RAM. Uh, 16, uh, 16 would be better, but I think we can get by with 12 gigabytes. Uh, we need a 64-bit uh, CPU, and it needs to be at least a dual core in order to install. And we're probably going to need at least uh, at least 2.2 uh, 2 gigabytes around for this for this host but uh, total in your host you're going to need at least 12. Now let's get started. Uh, nesting uh, ESXi can be done for lab environments to conserve resources. Uh, this will be demonstrating the HA high, avail high availability and the DRS which is the uh, distributed resource schedule. These are the two uh, main features uh, or real popular features of the VMware vSphere. But uh, this should never be de uh, considered for production. It's just going to be too slow for production. Uh, we will be looking at what uh, might be better for production uh, after this after this series of labs. Uh, first thing we're going to do here is we've got our uh, from our last lab uh, we installed the free NAS as a VM inside of our our host and our host uh, IP address is 192.168.170. So next we need to create a new uh, VM. So we're going to right click on our IP address and we're going to select new virtual machine. Uh, we're going to go from typical to custom because we want to change a couple of things on this. And first thing is we'll name this uh, hypervisor uh, ESXIA and the second one will 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 uh, designate as B. So we'll have two hypervisors or two ESXIs inside of this uh, host. One will be A and one will be B. Uh, we have two uh, data stores now. We've got our original data store where we installed that first host and now we have a shared uh, data store where we installed our free NAS and uh, we create the second data store. We're going to use this data store uh, for our, our Windows uh, VMs so that we can migrate v, uh, the VMs from one host to another. But let's go ahead and select this uh, first data store. Uh, we're going to default to this virtual machine version 8 because we're running the ESXi uh, 5 or later. Uh, this one is going to be a Linux uh, and it's the Linux SUSE so if you, down, if you cl uh, click this little down arrow you'll be able to select the SUSE Linux 64-bit uh, uh, Enterprise 11. Again, we need to change our number of hosts here to two, from one to two, because we need at least two uh, hosts or cores in order to uh, install this host. Uh, here we're going to select 2.2 uh, gigabytes or 2,200 megabytes, same thing. Uh, we're going to need this as the minimum uh, to install this uh, ESXi. Uh, next, we're going to select uh, uh, this one uh, network card, but I would uh, I would go ahead and select uh, as many network cards as you can. I think you can probably select four, but you need at least two because we're going to need another network uh, card for uh, vMotion. So take this down arrow and select uh, the number two at least, but you might select even up to four. Uh, this is the default. The, LSI Logic Parallel. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the next page. Click Next. Uh, we're going to create a new virtual disk. Uh, so we'll leave that as a default. Uh, we can get by with uh, 8 gigabytes or less, but we're going to go ahead and select Thin Provision. Again, Thin Provision will allow this to grow. If you, if you select the Thick Provision, it automatically uh, increases the size of this uh, disk to 8. But if you select uh, Thin Provision, we only use as much as we need. And it can grow to 8. That saves a little bit on your on your disk storage space. Uh, this is another default, uh, the SCSI. So we'll go ahead and leave it. That was the default. And click Next. 
Uh, here we've got all that information for this VM. And go ahead and click Finish to Next. And now we have our new VM, the ESXi-A. And this VM is uh, now assigned to this host. So we're going to go ahead and start it. And we're going to uh, power it on. And then we're going to uh, open a console for it. Uh, the console will begin. We're going to have to come up here to this uh, little disk with a little wrench next to it. Click on it. And we're going to have to select the ISO image. And the ISO image is what we're going to use to install our host uh, ESXi inside of this VM. So go ahead and click on that and then select <coughs> uh, select your uh, ISO file, which will be the uh, uh, 5.1 uh, ESXi. You should have downloaded that from the VMware. Uh, once that starts, uh, or once that's connected, you have to go back and select VM Guest, and we're going to have to select Control Alt Delete. To Control Alt Delete will reboot the VM, and then as it reboots, it will find that uh, ISO file and begin to install. Here's the uh, here's the uh, ISO, and it's the 5.1 hypervisor that we're going to be uh, selecting. And after that reboots, we should get to this screen where we see that uh, ESXi is ready to start the installation. You can go ahead and either click that or allow it to uh, uh, end with a, it's, it's about a five second delay. So once that counts down, it'll, it'll automatically start. And that's it uh, for this. Uh, what you want to do next after you get this one installed, we'll go ahead and install the ESXi B. So you go through the same thing and just install a second one. Uh, that's it for this uh, series. Uh, thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.